Saturday night. And from Granada, Manchester, it's stars in their eyes. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your host, Matthew Kelly. the trumpets bray and boldly bang the sounding brasses. It's bigger, better and brighter than ever. It's a brand new series of stars in their eyes. Everything's been scrubbed and polished and the air is thick with the smell of beeswax and mothballs. <laughs> yes, we're back for a whole nine weeks of musical mimicry and electrifying entertainment, culminating in our live grand final where you, the viewer, will vote for the Stars in their Eyes 95 series winner. And let me say now that that's going to be the live final to end all live finals. A twice round the gas works and three times up and down the Blackpool Tower kind of a show. <laughs> but before any of that, let's come back to the here and now and the first five star guests of the series who are from all parts of Britain, north, south, east and west. Not forgetting Doncaster. <laughs> My name is Dave DeRoyck and I live in a small village called Bawtree, which is ten miles south of Doncaster. I run a small family restaurant called Maxwell's and I've been there for almost 20 years now. I take orders from the table and sometimes I cook. In my spare time, I like to take the dogs for walks. One is my wife's, one is my daughter's and the one they've given to me is a deaf King Charles Spaniel called Molly and we talk to her with sign language. I've done a small amount of amateur dramatics and I've enjoyed doing that. And I thought one day it might be nice if I could sing. So I decided to buy a karaoke machine and uh, I sing at home. Tonight at backstage I'm going to feel very excited, extremely frightened. But I think I shall prove to myself that I can do it. Nice to see you. Cheers. Bye-bye. Of course he can do it. Please welcome David DeRoyck. What's all this about uh, sign language for the dog? Ah, uh, yes. We've got a 13-year-old deaf King Charles Spaniel called Molly. Right. And we've talked to her in sign language. Would you like me to show you? Yeah, would you? What kind well, of thing? That means that we're going to click your... <laughs> nails. 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 Right. And she scoots away. Well, scoots away. well you would, wouldn't you? Yes. Yeah. And, and uh, that, that's a... That's a throwback from when she could hear. We used to rattle the car keys car and go keys. car 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 car. In the car, yeah. And this is uh, <laughs> time for poo poo. Ta time to go out. <laughs> <laughs> Walkies. 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 Yes, yes. yes. And that's. And uh, if I do it with my foot, that means time to go out a little bit quicker. Quicker. <laughs> oh. <laughs> now. We sometimes stretch the bounds of credibility on this show. We've really maybe gone a bit too far tonight with this person that you're going to be. Tell us why you chose the man that you're going to be tonight. I chose to do this character because I thought he brought a lot of pleasure and laughter and glamour to millions of people all around the world. Yeah. And I think that's a good thing. And I think you will do tonight. Who are you going to be, David? Tonight, Matthew, I'm going to be Benny Hill. Benny Hill, the man himself! He's got You can hear the offbeat pound as they raced across the ground and the clatter of the wheels as they spun round and round and he galloped into Market Street, his badge upon his chest His name was Ernie and he drove the fastest milk cart in the west Now Ernie loved a widow, a lady known as Sue She lived all alone in Lindley Lane at number 22 They said she was too good for him, she was haughty, proud and chic but Ernie got his cocoa there three times every week. They called him Ernie. Annie. Annie drove the bus 
fastest milk cart in the West. Oh. Now Ernie had a rival, an evil-looking man, called Tutan Ted from Teddington, and he drove the baker's van. He tempted her with his treacle tarts and his tasty oatmeal bread. And when she seen the size of his hot meat pies, it very near turned her head. Poor Ernie. And he drove the fastest milk cart in the West. Oh. One lunchtime, Ted saw Ernie's horse and cart outside her door. He drove him mad to find it was still there at half past four. And as he leapt down from his van, hot blood through his veins did course. He went across to Ernie's cart and he didn't half kick his horse, whose name was Trigger. Trigger! And he pulled the fastest milk cart in the West. Now Ernie rushed out into the street, his gold top in his hand. He said, if you want to marry Susie, you fight for her like a man. Oh, why don't we play cards for her, he sneeringly replied. And just to make it interesting, we'll have a shilling on the side. Now Ernie dragged him from his van and beneath the blazing sun. They stood there face to face and Ted went for his bun. But Ernie was too quick, things didn't go the way Ted planned. And a strawberry flavoured yoghurt sent his spinning from his hand. As soon she ran between them and tried to keep them apart. And Ernie, he pushed her aside and a rock gate caught him underneath his heart. He looked up in pain surprise and the concrete hard and crust of a still pork pie caught him in the eye and Ernie bit the dust. Poor Ernie. Ernie! And he drove the fastest milk cart in the west. Ernie was only 52. He didn't want to die. Now he's going to make deliveries in the milk round in the sky. Where the customers are angels and ferocious dogs are banned. A milkman's life is full of fun in that very dairy land. <laughs> but a woman's needs are many fold, and so she married Ted. Strange things happen on their wedding night as they lay in their bed. Was that the trees are rustling? Or the hinges of the gate? Or Ernie's ghostly gold tops are rattling in their crate. They won't forget her, Ernie. Ernie! And he drove the fastest milk car in the West. Congratulations. Thank you for making it. <laughs> that was the most exciting moment of my life, sir. <laughs> I think it was for the rest of us as well. <laughs> I think our Betty would have been proud of you. Thank you. Absolutely you, terrific. Ladies and gentlemen, David DeRoyk as Betty Hill. <laughs> Good afternoon.